This reflection is about a difficult book of the Bible. Recently I had some prompting about which book of the Bible I ought to read next. Leviticus. Someone in our home group said they'd been reading it. Then on Sunday morning the preacher mentioned Leviticus. And a different preacher drew a lesson from it in the evening. I'd been avoiding Leviticus. Genesis, Exodus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, fine those four books. Lots of interesting and useful stuff there. But I'd avoided Leviticus right in the middle of them. A difficult book, mostly about Jewish laws and sacrifices. I, I, I didn't see the point. That's maybe why I had to read Leviticus. So I did. You do feel like giving up in the first seven chapters, though. They're all about a variety of animal sacrifices that people had to give to the priests and about how the priests had to dispose of the animals. There's a lot of repetition there, too. At a superficial level, uh, I understood most of chapter one, but I didn't understand why all the detail was necessary. I didn't understand what it all meant, which means I didn't understand it at all, re really. I was reminded of a recent problem I'd had with a part of a chapter in 1 Corinthians. I didn't understand it. I didn't understand what Paul said about the proper use of the gift of tongues, but then I realised that I didn't need to understand that bit because I don't have the gift of tongues. I was free to move on. So I just skimmed through the next six chapters of Leviticus. I didn't feel bad about that because I don't need to know what kind of animal I need to present to the priest or how he should present it to God. The Jews and the priests needed to know all this, but I don't need to know it because I'm not a Jew living 3,000 years ago and I'm not a priest. Still, even a skim through was useful because I certainly got the overall message from those chapters that God takes sin very seriously and there are many different ways in which we can offend God. That's actually a major theme of the Ash Wednesday service. I find the Ash Wednesday service really valuable because it reminds me of how many different ways I can offend God. How many ways I have offended God. I'd started, so I'd finish. Onwards from chapter 8 of Leviticus. There were a few nuggets en route, but I, I was blown away by chapter 19. It's mostly a load of do-nots, 25 or so of them. You'd think that do-nots are depressing, but, but they're not. That's because many of them are laws which promote social justice. Indeed, some of them are more enlightened than the laws of Britain are today, like paying up on time without causing hardship to someone who needs the money, someone who needs the cash flow. And there are one or two positives in the middle of all these negatives. One of them is the second greatest commandment of all time, according to Jesus. You shall love your neighbour as yourself. Jesus was quoting directly from Leviticus 19. If Leviticus was good enough for Jesus, then surely it's good enough for me. It gets a bit better. Later in the chapter, we're told to love someone else. Someone who's a lot harder to love than your neighbour. Listen. When a foreigner resides amongst you in your land, do not mistreat him. The foreigner residing among you must be treated as your native born. Love him as yourself, for you were foreigners in Egypt. It's a lot harder to love a foreigner than to love your neighbour. Her skin is a different colour, or his English sounds atrocious. Well, she arrived in a little boat. But we should try to love a foreigner, whatever the popular press says, whatever the social media or the government says. We're asked to love the foreigner. We're told to love the foreigner. We must try. 
I must try because like most people I, I've got some inbuilt prejudices against people who are different I've got to watch out for all these pre prejudices and, and try to nip them in the bud I don't always succeed so right in the middle of a difficult book like Leviticus there are some useful lessons for us today we shouldn't give up when the Bible is hard going. You never know what you're going to find. In the middle of all the difficult stuff, there's usually something we need to hear. So let's finish with a, a few lines from our most recent Ash Wednesday service. For all the false judgments, for uncharitable thoughts towards our neighbours, and for our prejudice and contempt towards those who differ from us, accept our repentance, Lord. <laughs>